Um, my name is Dr Geraldine Gray and I'm talking about DALT, uh, our project to develop online learning analytics uh, capacity. My team members uh, present here, this is a collaboration between four um, colleges. So representing DIT is um, Dr Pauline Rooney. We have uh, Dr Karina Ginty representing Galway, uh, Galway Mayo Institute of Technology and Owen Campbell is representing Institute of Technology, TALA. Uh, three of us are currently part of the TU Dublin Alliance, so come 1st of January we will be Technology University Dublin. And then our fourth member, Galway Mayo, um, is also on the team. Um, all four of us have already worked previously in various learning and initi analytics initiatives, so this project comes uh, kind of as a result of all the other work that we have been doing. So what we plan to do, or the, the main focus of the project, is to address what is currently, um, I suppose, a, a lack of engagement in the outputs of learning analytics. So there's an awful lot of research being done on the learning data that we have and what we can learn from it. Uh, but to get all, all partners in learning to engage with those outputs of learning analytics is a challenge internationally. It's not just a challenge in Ireland. It's a challenge internationally. So that's the, the problem we're aiming to tackle. Um, so we have two key objectives from the project. The first is to do an analysis of why it is people are reluctant to engage with the outputs of learning analytics or what they perceive as being uh, their own sort of deficiencies in, in being able to engage with that type of output. So we'll do an analysis of training needs that will be required to address that. And we also plan over the course of the project to develop some pilot training resources um, and get feedback on that to see if they're, they're on the right track in terms of, of addressing training needs. So how this will be done, we have divided the project into five work packages. So the first three work packages are all about requirements gathering. Uh, the first one is looking at um, planning the project and what we need to do that. And there are a number of, of constituents' parts on this. We had identified some members of a steering group in our proposal, but from feedback to the panel, we're going to extend that to include student members from each of the four colleges and also to reach out internationally to, to uh, connect in with best practice internationally on our steering group. So that's a, a body of work to be done. Uh, we will also at that stage look for ethical clearance and ensure that we're GDPR by design uh, throughout the project. And we will at that stage plan how we are going to gather the data, what, how we will constitute the focus groups, what type of, how we will run those. And I think there's a balancing act with the focus groups both in terms of informing people as to, to what can be achieved through um, engagement with learning data and then try to get feedback on what, what training people would find useful to enable that to happen. Um, we also plan as part of the first work package to train up students in running those focus groups. Uh, Galway Mayo Institute of Technology already have a peer assisted learning training programme developed through national forum funding so we would hope to adapt that to train up students to run particularly focus groups of students as they may, they're likely to open up better to, to students. So that's the first work package planning the, the project. The second one then is actually gathering the data, so we will do that through specific focus groups on each of our partner sites and we will we also uh, will run an e-learning summer school uh, next June where and there will be focus groups as part of that to get feedback from staff as to how better to in engage. We will also, as part of the planning stage, to, to look at how we're going to balance focus groups which will give us very rich data but through small, relatively small numbers and surveys where we will obviously reach out to a wider audience but the quality of that data will be less useful and it may be more useful possibly later in the project when we have a better idea what those training notes would look like and then get maybe broader feedback as to see if these address people's requirements. That's the second work package and the third work package then is to an analyse what has come back from those focus groups and we will look again to, to get students involved in that stage through data analytics of, of that uh, qualitative uh, data from our focus groups. So that's the first uh, three packages in terms of requirements gathering. The final two work packages then are based on developing the outputs of this project. So the key output will be our strategy and planning document as to how we would develop a suite of training resources to uh, um, address greater, um, in, uh, greater interaction with student data. 
Um, and the second one then is to develop some of those training resources, as I mentioned. Uh, some of those will come from keynote speakers at our events, the summer school, and also a specific Dalti event next, um, next year where we would pilot some of our training resources. Um, and at this stage, I would see our engagement with our learning partners, be it students, faculty and support staff, as to ongoing evaluation of our outputs at the, um, for the final two work packages. Okay, so from that, what we will produce from this project, I had mentioned a, a training and a strategy and planning document. We will also do peer-reviewed publications at that point based on the output from focus groups. We will have three events, so the summer school and next year's Dalti event will be funded through the project. We also have already funded through the National Forum uh, uh, one of their series seminar series for next May and we will use that also as a requirements gathering event um, and then the final output will be the some pilot training resources uh, which will be hosted through an existing website that DIT are running for uh, our current activities through the DESI initiative, the National Forum DESI initiative. Okay, so I'll hand over now to Pauline. Thank you Geraldine. Um, Okay, so impact and sustainability. So as we all know, timely constructive feedback is key to student learning and learning data has huge potential in this regard, helping to indicate progress and to suggest areas for improvement. We believe that Dalty will um, impact on student learners and learning in, in the following ways. So firstly, a key focus of the project is to educate all relevant stakeholders that support student learning, including the, stu the students themselves, to read and analyse their own digital footprint within the educational context and to appreciate and interpret its relevance for student learning. The ultimate impact of this will be an enhanced support of learning environment for our students. Secondly, this project will help students and staff to make informed decisions um, based on their digital footprints, thereby enabling students to self-regulate their own learning and contributing to their own personal development. And thirdly, DALTI will facilitate the development of key digital skills and competences, contributing to an overarching framework of empowerment for all stakeholders involved in supporting students' learning. Impact on the organisation. In the broader institutional context, this will enhance teaching and learning practices by enabling evidence-based decision-making to support student success, by enhancing feedback and by enabling personalised learning. We believe that DALTI will also promote cultural change whereby student data is viewed not only as a reporting tool but also as a potential enabler of enhanced feedback, enhanced student support and enhanced learning. And finally, DALTI will impact on organisational practices and systems. Aligning with the Department of Education's vision of first class data for education and with their objectives for staff development in that regard, DALTI will support staff in becoming more informed about data and more experienced in recognising the value of data um, and the ways in which it can be used to maximise student support. So impact reach. Throughout the project, we will maximise impact reach through ongoing dialogue and discourse with stakeholders, national and international communities, including international centres of excellence in learning analytics. We'll also maximise impact reach via dissemination and awareness through our professional development events, as Geraldine has already outlined, um, through awareness raising across the higher education sector and beyond, and through our outputs and resources, all of which will be openly accessible under a Creative Commons International licence. And finally, sustainability. We are going to ensure sustainability. Um, firstly, we're going to host all project resources, as Geraldine has already mentioned, um, all project resources and outputs on the what will be the TU Dublin Dalty website, and um, building on our existing website that we have developed in DIT as part of our involvement with the National Forum's DESI initiative. Thus, we are aiming to avoid ongoing um, web hosting fees um, and ensuring ongoing access without the need for additional funding. And finally, we do recognise that the learning resources to be implemented as part of this project represent a first step in the execution of our strategy and our implementation plan. And it is our vision that after the initial funding stage is completed, we will seek additional support and funding from within our own institutions and externally with the aim of developing a comprehensive suite of resources which could be offered as part of a nationally certified digital badge on learning analytics. Thank you.
We stand up for questions, sir? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.